What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about how Call of Duty Vanguard is not a very good game for older gen consoles. A lot of players this weekend during the beta that played on PS4 were really complaining about how bad the uh, visuals were, how bad the lag was, how bad the screen tearing was, how bad the FPS was. Uh, a lot of players on PS4 said the game was just absolutely unplayable. Now there were some issues on PS5. I did do my impressions about the beta a few days ago. Of course, if you've been around the channel for a while now, you know that I was finally lucky enough to get a uh, PS5 bundle from a retailer. I, I was trying to avoid, of course, you know, buying it from a scalper for the last year, just about. And so I finally got one from a retailer, but I know not everyone still has the money to buy one from a retailer. And I know everyone that's going to be playing most games probably for the next year, maybe even longer, are probably still going to be playing a lot of these games on old gen consoles. And it seems like Call of Duty Vanguard is really designed for new gen and PC. A lot of PS4 players were reporting big issues with lag where they were saying they could not play a single game without just lagging out, without frame dropping, whether it feels like they're just, you know, just kind of kicking slowly when they turn left or right, that it's not smooth. Of course, we do know that there will be an FOV slider in the uh, game's release. Of course, that was not in the beta this weekend, but right now the reports are that the FOV slider will be for new gen only. So old gen players are going to be at a disadvantage because new gen and PC will have the FOV slider, old gen will not. And that's going to be a big disadvantage for old gen players. Now, of course, uh, you know, the PlayStation Early Access Beta does end today. We will get another beta here in the next few days for Xbox and PC and PlayStation. Once again, we'll get to see a little bit more about how the game is going to work with all the platforms in there together. But I have a bad feeling that the Xbox players are going to experience the same thing. If they're not on the Xbox Series S or X, they're on the Xbox One. They're going to have these same problems that a lot of the PS4 players were reporting. And the one thing I can say when play, uh, PS4 players are reporting visual issues, I definitely can understand why. Because, of course, the Champion Hill Alpha, even though I was on PS5, that was a PS4 version uh, that Alpha was, and the visuals were absolutely horrible. And, of course, this beta, I played the PS5 version of the, of the beta, uh, excuse me, and it was 100 times better visually, even though the visuals were still not that great. It was a big improvement from what we saw on PS4 during the Alpha. And this kind of concerns me because my my issue with it is, and my kind of fear with this is, that most players that are going to be buying the game are mainly going to be old gen players. So if they're kind of upset with the game, they're not wanting to purchase it, they're not liking what they see, they get it, they see the lag, they see the screen tear, they see the visual issues, they don't have an FOV slider, they may not play for even you know a month or so. They may just go ahead and step away from the game and go play something else. Then that's going to leave the problem for anyone that plays on new gen if you're not want to, let's say, for example, let, let's say you don't want to have crossplay on. Uh, so, you know, you would be playing against old gen, new gen consoles and not PC. That's going to cause a big problem there as well, because there's going to be less people in the game to play on, against on the console side, at least, because it's probably going to leave more new gen players than anything. And we all know there's not very many players out there on Xbox or PlayStation that have a new gen Xbox or, you know, a new gen PlayStation. So overall, I'm hoping Sledgehammer can do something uh, for older gen consoles because I kind of feel bad for anybody that's playing on old gen right now. I've seen a lot of complaints. I've been hearing a lot of issues over the last few days, but it is also kind of sad that, you know, a game that a lot of people enjoy playing year in and year out is really not going to be playable or as good or as enjoyable for a lot of people that are on older gen consoles. And that is very disappointing. And I had that fear. I, I talked about this before with uh, Battlefield 2042 coming out this year, how the uh, you know, new gen consoles and PC has the bigger player base, but of course, majority of players out there are still going to be playing on old gen consoles so that the lobbies might have longer queue times in Battlefield because all of the old gen players will be playing in the 64 player lobby still. So it, it's a big issue, even in Call of Duty. Uh, that is, you can definitely say that about the large game modes we had available this weekend, the blitz modes where every day they've added more and more players. And I think today it's up to 20 and 24 players in blitz mode. People on PS4 say it is unplayable, that it lags so bad that you're so far behind you can't really do anything. So those modes, unless something is fixed, is going to be really unplayable for people uh, when the game is released. Really, if you're on old gen, you're going to be kind of forced to play just 6v6, and that is it, even if it works correctly. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know if you played on PS4 this weekend. Uh, let me know if you're having issues with the beta. Also, if you watch this in a couple days and you hop in the beta and you're playing on Xbox One, leave me a comment about that as well. I'll probably make another video kind of following up on this after this weekend's beta has ended or this upcoming weekend's beta has ended. Hopefully some of these issues will be fixed, but I'm not sure. Sledgehammer has been doing a lot of stuff within the game to fix problems, but I'm not sure if fixing 
the old gen issue is going to be something they really can, are going to be able to do. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.